Welcome everyone. We'll call the meeting to order for the City Commission meeting for November 20th. Uh, first thing on our agenda would be roll call. Mayor Haynes. Present. Commissioner Locke. Present. Commissioner Lewis. Here. Commissioner Badway. Here. Commissioner Wilkinson. Present. Thank you. Invocation. Do we have uh, Reverend John Carroll? Uh, no, I'm substitute for <laughs> Thank you for allowing us to do this. Thank you. So we bow hearts in prayer. Tonight we come to you with thankful hearts and grateful for the country we live in, for the county we live in, for the community that we live in tonight. We thank you for the ones that we're going to honor tonight at this city commission meeting. We thank you for their dedication and their sacrifices that they have made for the good of this community. And we just ask you tonight to give wisdom and guidance and direction to the uh, city Council as they look over the business of this community we pray thank you again for all your blessings in your name amen amen, amen. thank you thank you <clears throat> please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a lot of work to do tonight, and I think for us commissioners, why don't we go down and join them on the floor so that we can shake their hands as, as we do this. Okay, first one up for tonight is a 10-year service award for Darcy Beavers. You can come out of the box, Darcy. Come on. There she goes. Come on. Darcy started with the Public Works Department on August the 27th, 2007 as the Public Works Secretary. Um, that had long been shared. Kurt and I had shared Judy McIntosh for a lot of years, and as the workload got more and more, we split off and we hired Darcy in 2007. <coughs> Family members, uh, Oren, three sons, TJ Jr. and Chase. Chase is here. Uh, and one daughter, Jackie, who's also here. Um, so this, this is where it gets interesting. Hobbies and interests. I had Darcy write her own, although I think I could have probably summed it up with the Jeep. But anyway, driving my Jeep, wishing I was driving my Jeep, and oh yeah, waiting for summer to take the top off the Jeep, <laughs> camping and being out in the sun. And so anything else you'd like to add, I'm awesome to work with, which we all agree with that. That, that does not surprise me that she wrote that. So now I get to start. Um, Darcy's one of the, she is one of the pleasant voices when you call uh, Public Works and you get the pleasant voices, it's Darcy or Lex. Mainly has been Darcy for a long, long time. Um, we often joke if you want to know what's going on in our department, you find Darcy and ask her because she can absolutely tell you. Um, the, one of the cool things about Darcy is she always wants to understand what's going on. Um, and I think that's so that she can make good excuses for the rest of us. Um, so, no, that's not true. She wants to know what's going on so she can make sure that people in the community, when they call, know. So she's got good answers for everybody uh, coming going forward. So, 10 years. <laughs> My next tenure is Kevin Karst. Kevin came on in 2007 as well, um, started as a maintenance worker in the Public Works Department, and as soon as the mechanics position opened up, uh, Kevin took over the mechanics portion of our, of our department. I will tell you that job is thankless sometimes. Um, you've laid in under everything. You've laid in trash trucks. You've worked on snow plows and a foot or two of snow. Uh, so thankless is, is probably the, easy, the best way to say that. Family members are Jennifer, Dylan, Portia, Car Car Carly and Shelby, and Jacob and Jaden. 
Hobbies and interests, and I've <coughs> this one as well, old cars and hot rods, uh, camping and hanging out with family and friends. There's not much Kevin can't work on, and even if it's something that he doesn't, isn't really 100% for sure about what he's doing, it sure doesn't take very long to figure it out. So um, with that said, 10 years, thank you very much. I'd like to say that 2007 was a great hiring year for public utilities. We had three awesome guys that have been here for 10 years. And uh, first, I want to call up is Pat Fountain. <coughs> Pat began his career at the City of Laredo Wetlands and Water Reclamation Facility in October of 2007. Uh, he received his Class 4 certification, State of Kansas certification, in March of 2010. Beyond his daily process control <coughs> testing, Pat is a safety program coordinator on behalf of the wastewater treatment plant. Pat is also proud to be a, a member of the team that has won six Plant of the Year awards in a row, three Biosolids of the Year awards, um, the National George W. Burke Safety Award, which goes along with him being our safety coordinator. Uh, Pat and his wife, Abby, um, have been married for 15 years. They have two daughters, Courtney and Claire. He enjoys football, fishing, and spending time with his family and friends, and we could not do what we do without him. So thank you, Pat. Thank you. Okay, next, Jason Patty. It's really hard for me to believe that Jason's only been with the city for 10 years because he's accomplished so much in the, in the 10 years that he's been here. Um, he came in May of 2007. He's a certified uh, class four wastewater operator as well as a class four uh, water operator as well as a class four wastewater laboratory analyst. And so all of those are certifications you get from the state of Kansas. Uh, he's the uh, current chair for the Kansas Water Environment Association, that's the professional organization for wastewater. He's the lab laboratory committee chair for that. He's the uh, past recipient from that organization, the Kansas Water Environment Association. He's the past recipient of the William D. Hatfield uh, Award and the youngest William D. Hatfield awardee um, in the history of the Kansas Water Environment Association. Um, also, the uh, winner of the Crystal Crucible, the Laboratory Analyst Excellent Awards, um, and also the, uh, the Five Best member. Um, additionally, the Wetlands Water Reclamation Facility, as I mentioned before, has won the, uh, both the Plan of the Year, the Plan of the Year Award six times in a row, um, and that's best plant in the state of Kansas, uh, as well as the Biosolids Award, best biosolids operation uh, three times. Uh, the treatment plant was awarded the George Burke uh, Safety Award last year. Jason is a graduate of Baker University. Uh, he's also a graduate of the uh, Butler Community College Leadership Butler class of 2012. He has completed the University of Kansas Certified Public Managers Program. Um, he's the past president of the El Dorado Rotary Club and also on the board of Rural Water District Number 1. And uh, Jason is married to his wife Gretchen, who's here with their four children uh, Alyssa, Brooklyn, Blake, and Logan. Uh, outside of work, he enjoys uh, his family and many hobbies, which includes a, uh, a uh, hunting operation preserve. He raises English setters, and he also has a growing herd of cattle on his land. So, thank you, Jason. Thank you. Dave Wendell. Dave began his career with the City of El Dorado Public Utilities in water distribution and sewer collections in March of 2007. Dave is our eyes and ears for water distribution, sewer maintenance out in the field. And so uh, while he's out performing about 300 locates a month, and you've all heard of the Kansas One Call when you, you get ready to dig. He has to go out and locate all the water and sewer lines for the city. And he does that about 300 times a month. Uh, he also is responsible for uh, all of our lift stations, 11 lift stations around town. 
Um, he's the safety coordinator for water distribution sewer maintenance and also the confined space program coordinator. Uh, Dave and his wife Jody have three children, Rita, Chris, and Matt. And Dave is a connoisseur of smoking meats and barbecuing, so that's what he does. And he's he's probably stuff. done some for Thanksgiving, too. So. No, that's Wednesday. Yeah. Thank you. Doing that Wednesday. Shane McCoy was hired as a firefighter on June 2, 2007, having served as a student resident prior to that. During his tenure with the department, Shane worked his way up to his current position as a fire lieutenant. Shane has found passion for instructing training and the safety of personnel. He worked for Butler Community College for three years and is currently leading the training program for the department. Shane is instrumental in assisting his captain with the leadership and development of his shift honing his leadership skills by completing leadership <coughs> baller in 2017. In his spare time, he enjoys fishing, hunting, and automotive repair. Troy Jellison was hired as a firefighter on March 1, 2002, having served as an Eloreto Fire Reserve since 1996. Troy climbed up through the ranks to his current position as the fire captain on sea shift. In his time here, Troy has completed many leadership programs, many of which he was the first in the department to attend. He graduated from Leadership Butler, Advanced Kansas, the KU Certified Public Management Program, and he is working to complete the Executive Fire Officer Program through the National Fire Co Academy. In his spare time, Troy enjoys spending time with his family, his wife Jamie, and his daughters, Tegan, Emily, and Anna. We're recognizing Troy for 15 years. year service award uh, started with the city in 2001 at the wastewater treatment plant uh, worked there for two and a half years and then transferred on to the public work de works department on the street crew um, after that he started working on started working on traffic lights traffic signs and traffic signals um, about four years ago started he started working on all the outdoor warning devices in town uh, Rodney, Rodney's wife Gaylene is here tonight uh, Rodney enjoys camping, get this jeeping, I know that'll be a surprise, outdoor stuff, kayaking, and helping people. Rodney's a volunteer firefighter in Potwin, and he's one of the guys that when windy days come like this and the, and the pagers go off, Rodney's the first one to come and go, can I go, can I go, can I go? So, um, and he says he's also trying to learn Frisbee golf. So I'll tell you a funny story about Rodney Reed. He's probably one of the only guys that you can call at four o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning that sounds like he's wide awake and just sitting there waiting for your phone call. So uh, I, I don't know if that's normal or not, but it's, it's certainly nice that you don't have to make that call twice. So 15 years of service, thank you. Larry Hill, started in 1997 as a maintenance employee, uh, moved up to an Operator 1 and then an Operator 2, and is currently working as an Operator 2 on our concrete crew. Um, I'm going to read this because I'll, I'll get this messed up. Brother Clayton, his wife Wanda, daughter Ashley, son Devlin, and grandson Seth. Um, Larry enjoys watching all sports, especially Kansas State basketball. Oh, KU basketball. I'm sorry, it says, I thought it said KSU. No, KU basketball. Um, anything else you'd like to add, Larry says, 
Uh, it seemed like it was just yesterday when I started at the city. Now I got 20 years in. He's right. Uh, it's been a good place to work, seeing a lot of different people come and go. So 20 years, thank you very much. City of El Dorado as the water treatment superintendent in 1992. In 1995, he was given the additional duties of the wastewater superintendent and finally promoted to director of public utilities in 2000, where he served <clears throat> the city for 17 years. Kurt has the state of Kansas class four certifications in water and wastewater and has been a board member and member of several other professional organizations that focus on teaching the proper ways to treat and manage water and wastewater, as well as champion water quality throughout the state uh, but also and also across the United States. This year, Kurt received the Arthur Sidney Bedell Award for, from the Water Environment Foundation, as well as the Richard Porter, Serv Richard Porter Service Award from the American Water Works Association, both in acknowledgement of his extraordinary service to those associations. Kurt has been married for, or to Casey for 30 years. She's a teacher in the Andover School District, and they have two grown children, Cutter and Kylie, and three grandchildren. Kurt enjoys traveling with Casey, hunting, fishing, and photography, uh, and he's been with the city for 25 years. Thanks a lot, Kurt. Nelson Cohen has, is receiving his 30-year service award, and we're the last two, you and me. That's the way it started back in the day. There was, that was it. So of the old department, that's about all that's left. So um, work, Nelson started in the trash department in 1985 and worked there until 2001. And 2001, when we started curbside recycling, Nelson took over those duties for collection of all the curbside recycling materials, so 16 years of that program. Uh, fishing, camping, and watching sports is what he enjoys, and I'll tell you that Nelson is a huge asset to our department because as this program evolved over the <laughs> 16 years, we couldn't have done it without you. So, 30 years, thank you. to everyone for years for your years of service. Tell them to have punch and cookies. Punch and cookies out there? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's what they're going there for. There are, uh, they're probably leaving to have punch and cookies. Which is, they've earned it. Thank you everyone for your service. Like five. Like those cookies. I'd be doing the same thing. All right, <laughs> next on our agenda would be uh, Personal appearances, we have none, so we'll move on to public comment. Anybody in the uh, audience wish to address the commission? Seeing none, we'll move on to consent agenda. Agendas were sent out last week. Everybody's had a chance to look over the consent agenda. Anything in there that needs special attention <coughs> or attention? If not, I'd entertain a motion. I move the consent agenda is presented to be approved. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Any further comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Motion carries 5 to 0. Next 
item on our agenda would be uh, the Kansas Modern Income Housing Agreement. I think we have been uh, we were notified last week that we were awarded from the uh, from the Kansas Housing KHRC another round of MIH. This makes three years in a row that we've been the city's been awarded this this funding. We jumped one there, but I, th I think we we've had three out of four years. Okay, yeah, that. three out of four years. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's quite uh, quite fortunate and very thrilled to get notice uh, of this award. This is a program where um, the state of Kansas allocates $2 million statewide to uh, help improve and grow moderate income eligible housing within communities in the state. Um, so they went ahead and approved our application and our application as written was a request of $190,000. The first round of it, we'd like to see it used as home buyer down payment assistance in the form of $10,000 per unit to two bedroom, two bath homes and $15,000 down payment assistance for three bedroom, two bath homes. Um, plan on opening up that application timeline for around 60 days and then making the funds available up to $10,000 per unit for any type of new housing, be it rental or owner occupied. <laughs> Tonight we're asking you to consider to allow the city manager to sign the agreement with the Kansas Housing Resource Corporation. That's great, thank you, Scott. Any questions? It's a great program. I think we're fortunate to be, uh, to be multiple recipients of that. So kudos to, to the staff um, and all who were involved with writing that grant. So thank you. And Elder Ed Inc. as well. And Elder Ed Inc., yes. Uh, our plan is to do a, a kind of a blitz here right before Christmas and let the word out to any folks who are interested in or are thinking about building a new home. Um, that they go ahead and start considering that because we do need those folks up front that are that are willing to be <coughs> owners. Um, only real requirement is that they meet the moderate income guidelines. Um, for a family of four, and I pulled this up on my phone real quick just to give you an idea. Moderate income, a family of four, um, could be anywhere from eighty-one thousand six hundred dollars a year down to thirty-two thousand six hundred forty dollars a year within that range. Great. Thank you. Scott, you said we're going to, for 60 days? Correct. Okay. What happens after, if we go 60 days and we've still got time? Then what do we do? First come, first serve, $10,000 per unit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So I need a motion to allow the city manager to sign the agreement. Mr. Mayor, I move to authorize the city manager to sign a grant, a grant agreement with the Kansas Housing Resource Corporation <coughs> for the moderate income housing program. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. Any further comment or discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. <coughs> Motion carries five to zero. Thank you. Uh, short agenda, we're already to reports. <coughs> Advisory board, anybody had a chance to meet or tell us what you're doing outside of commission meetings? Um, airport hasn't met yet. CBB meets tomorrow. Parts and, rec Parks and rec met last week. And basically they spent their time reviewing the master plan and looking at projects that small projects that they could do mm -hmm. uh, and so they kind of came up to agreement and they have a list of things that they're looking at okay. working on leading up to bigger projects good <coughs> i think we're going to also that list and that work goes to some of the sales tax advisory board stuff so that we can try and yeah. allocate funds as we can. There was a long list that are going to start projects in 18 mm -hmm. that were approved through this budget process. And then um, 
then we'll, I think, well, I'll let you speak for the new. I haven't been to those meetings. Yeah, um, Kevin gave them a list, of, a pretty lengthy list of things he had been thinking about, and they had a couple ideas as well, and so we will, they, they wanted to wait on the sales tax projects to, for a recommendation until December to see if they had a few more people, because we only had about half the board there right. last, last time, so um, waiting for a few more people before they make that recommendation, but they are working on it. Good, thank you. Thanks. No Prairie Trails meeting, just wish everyone <coughs> safe and happy Thanksgiving. And congratulations. Thank you. Nick is a new grandpa. I do have a new grandson as of Saturday. And congratulations. I don't have anything to report. Just Youth Commission, we met. It was a smaller meeting. There's a lot of activities going on, so we were missing a lot of kids, but nothing new. <clears throat> um, I attended, thank you everyone, I uh, attended a annual meeting for Greater Wichita Partnership, which was uh, filled in for, uh, uh, well, attended that, which was an interesting, interesting annual meeting, and some of the, the speaker was from, uh, from Des Moines, Iowa, and talked a lot about regionalism and the effort that's working there, so I was uh, there as a part of REAP and such, so I you know, thank you for that opportunity. Um, Elrida Inc. met last week. We talked a little bit about uh, some strategic planning um, in that uh, in that organization. Um, really, kind of talked also about honing in on targeted marketing and targeted um, uh, well, marketing is the right word, but making sure that we're not we're just responding to, to anybody who actually. <coughs> A lot of things kind of come to light uh, in this whole Tyson <coughs> discussion, both good and bad, and it's been a very healthy conversation about what might be right for El Dorado. Um, a couple other things I've got, not necessarily reports, but um, we're wrapping up. There's only a couple more meetings left of this commission. We start a new, uh, a new commission in January. Um, Chase, I hope you're here for December sun. We can, so we can say thanks. <clears throat> but as we do that, um, I'm reminded that uh, we probably ought to refresh our, our, our goals. So I guess I would, I would suggest or I'd like this commission to consider and give David <coughs> the direction to go ahead and start uh, the planning for a strategic planning re retreat for us uh, in January sometime uh, so that we can <laughs> look at the goals that we created <coughs> time ago and, and uh, create new ones, maybe refresh the ones we have. So if it's, if it's okay with this commission for David to start that planning process, we'll look, look for some dates, probably a Saturday again like we did before, if that's okay with everybody. And uh, we would have more to come. Is that, any, any other comments or questions from the commission on that, doing something like that? Everybody agree with it? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do that. Um, I think also uh, the other two notes I have, recycling program and within your city manager's report, whether you have anything to specifically on some of that uh, survey update, but also while we're here, we might talk a little bit about December meeting. Sometimes we skip the last meeting in December. Uh, yes. Tabitha and David let us know what we need to be anticipating there. Um, we usually start, we usually talk about that at the first meeting in December, so on okay. the fourth. We'll let you know if we have everything covered that we need to cover for okay. the month. And Perfect. Maybe Thank give you. you the 18 <clears throat> Great. That's all I got. Thank you. As the mayor was mentioning, the we have prepared a recycling survey. We're going to be sending that out here hopefully next week. We're kind of waiting on uh, really the post office. Uh, we're actually going through a third party to make that all happen. and. Hopefully we'll be able to get those out um, here this week, if not early next week, so that we can get those started. Um, so everyone will be receiving a, an envelope uh, from the city with the survey and a stamped envelope. So they'll just complete the survey, put it back in the uh, stamped envelope, mail that off, and uh, we ask that people that want to participate 
get the responses mailed in by December 15th so we can get those assembled and get the report back to you all uh, for your information. Um, we do have five police officer openings, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to fill a couple of those here soon. Um, so if there, but we will still have a couple of spots still open. So if you know, or if, if you know of anyone, or if there's anyone out in the public that would be interested in serving on um, El Dorado's um, police department, then they should go to HREpartners.com and look at the p a position and if they're really interested, fill it out and, and maybe they'll get an interview. Um, so again, we'll, we, have, we have a couple of positions that hopefully we'll be able to fill. Um, they had some interviews on Friday, <clears throat> excuse me. And, um, but we'll still have some openings. So we still continue to try to get police officer positions filled uh, with that department. Thanks, with the city hall and city offices will be closed for Thanksgiving and also the day after Thanksgiving this week. Um, so we do have an update to the trash schedule. The Thursday trash uh, cycle will actually be done on Wednesday and then the Friday cycle will be done as normal. So um, people know what's going on with that. And then just a big update on the Grandview Elementary School uh, site development. The sewer is going in. Um, so as that work progresses, um, where our, the new site will be um, kind of gets a little bit further along as we progress forward on that project. So good things are happening with that. So with that, I'll take any questions if I still have a voice. I've got a question for either Brad or the chief. Do we know who hit the traffic controller at Summit and Central? Did they have insurance? Uh, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I would also offer a public service announcement um, as well. Uh, thanks for that report. If no more questions, um, Brad has been doing, uh, getting up early and driving around and posting some things on Facebook. So I actually appreciate that as we talk about our recycle program and a lot of the things uh, that we do and what it, uh, the great asset that it is. Um, I appreciate that, that uh, pointing out some, educating the public a little bit on what's the proper way to use that. So I would ask folks to, to find the uh, Facebook page, it's the Public Works, and, and uh, pay attention. So thank you for doing that. I don't have anything else. Mr. Mayor, I move we adjourn. Second. All right, move to second to adjourn. Any comments? Any comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>